fans are riled up, George, over the antics of Harley Hog and Wild Hog. There's no doubt, Dave, that uh, the natives are restless. And of course, we're going to see a great match here. Good team match because on one side we have the Calypso, who is a very speedy individual. And he's going against two big boys, of course, with the Hogs. It should be a toss up by. Sorry to say, would have to put my money on the Hogs. A nice blow there by Calypso, another and another. Calypso rattling him off. And now he trails the big hog. Hello to all you fans watching across the United States and Canada. A special congratulations goes out today to Indiana University NCAA soccer with none other than Mike and Tim Hyla who led that Indiana University soccer team to what such a great season. Both of those Highlands are from St. Louis and they're tuning in today watching all the action and after this match you're going to see the man that's made St. Louis famous, the man that closed the show me state. The world's most dangerous wrestler will be on today, Dick the Bruiser. He'll be in there that flag surrender match against the great Wojo, time permitting. today to have an interview for you. King Harley Hogg digging in, pulling back the mouth of Calypso. Kurt Saul, these two men wait. Try the hogs. Awesome devastating, etc. And when they get through with that shoe shine, boy, he's going to go back to the bus station and shine shoes. So, both of these men, you put together a great combination. Over 685 pounds. The wild hogs are bigger than two, but the other hogs are faster. That's right. You know, they're under the knee of the saw crease the workout program, as you've noticed. Wild hog has trimmed down a little bit. He's faster and he's stronger than ever. Now he's got somebody just as big and as strong as him. And look at what they're doing to Calypso Jim, and that boy's going to have to retire when they're through with him. George Calypso's taking the worst of it. Right now, the Hogs has the advantage. Couldn't help but overhearing Saul Creep, man, out here a little while ago. Very easy for him to say that the Hogs are great and the Hogs are this. Hogs are that. Hogs are about maybe 200 pounds heavier than their opponents. So it's very easy when you're that much of a discrepancy of size. Calypso trying to get over and tag Crispin. Crispin waiting to get in. Crispin's a rookie, so to speak. He hasn't been wrestling long. In fact, when he gets in, you'll notice he's still hasn't the wrestling boot that many of the other wrestlers have. He still has his collegiate wrestling boot. Hogg taking Calypso back, throwing him into those ropes, missing with a clothesline and a big drop kick by Calypso and an arm drag. Crispin coming in. Putting a big suit to the hog. Crispin's a big boy. As a matter of fact, he doesn't look his weight. Uh, I would uh, say he looks about 30 or 40 pounds heavier than what he is listed at. What is he listed at? 241. He looks, he looks 241, he looks about 280. He's a big boy. He's very tall and he's a big boy. Crispin in there with the veteran, the wild hog, jamming his head right into that top turnbuckle. Brutal 
Christman. Christman tries to reverse. And Harley Hogg holds on to the hair. Not a seat available in ringside. The bleachers are packed up to the top of our auditorium today. Back to the horse stables. This boy's going to get through and cleaning it all up, baby. Saul Creech been noting the hogs are cleaning up. Definitely wouldn't be missed, George, in an Air Force. It's pretty hard to miss a guy who weighs about 350 pounds with his blonde hair and braided if you're thinking yet. But put two of them together, well, and then you're not going to miss them at all. There's three on one in the corner. And this, once again, brings to what I've been saying all along. Managers don't belong. What a spectacle. Watching Hogg and Harley Hogg in the ring. And I'm sure out of the ring. Bruiser will be 